any tube. It's one of these. It's an airline. Not sure, I should probably have looked up what model number it was before I started, but I didn't do that. Basically, I've just set it up, given it a good clean. It was only so clean I could get it, though. Uh, this serial number starts 12, so maybe 10 years old. When was the flight stripes? When did they decide to reissue these things? <laughs> single most predictable thing to play on one of these although this isn't the same model this is a so i've rewired this a bit um the owner said it was too beefy and it's like so i mean i'm not gonna argue i mean i don't think it's particularly beefy but then again i'm not comparing it to I play the bass, man. You know what I mean. <laughs> so it does have mad. I suppose. I think these are kind of similar to. Um, well, they they are actually the humbuckers because I took them to bits to clean them because they were minging. Uh, but they've got like, a white piece of plastic. I don't know if they, what the gold foil pickups are like. I think they might be quite similar to this, apart from instead of having a bit of white plastic, they've got a bit of gold foil in there, perhaps. So they are. Basically mini humbuckers, kind of Gretchy, I'm thinking, because uh, they're quite low output, quite jangly. Um, so, the way this comes wired is volume tone, volume tone, which is like, not like that, but I mean, so it's like neck, volume tone, bridge, volume tone. But because this was too beefy, uh, I sorted out with the, the owner how I was going to wire it and then changed my mind at the last minute decided to do it my way in, instead. So, instead of having... What we've now got is master volume. I suppose you're losing the ability to mix between the two. Master volume, high cut filter, and then a tone for each pickup. Uh, so... Too beefy. Less beefy. Bridge pick up even more so. So, what it is is makes it less beefy. Does a high pass filter. Um, a low pass filter. Allows the low to pass. There's a high pass filter because it allows the high through. Takes away the low. Which probably makes more difference when I've got distortion on, but... I kind of went off this guitar a little bit when I looked up um, last night. I think because it's 12 years old or something, it might have been a new one, but it was expensive. Very expensive for what it is. Um, so it's got... It's like built... It's made in China, it even still says so in the back. It's got, I, I, I rejigged the machine head. The tuners were all kind of falling to bits. but um, And they're, they're like three in a strip thing. But I managed to take them to bits and bend them with pliers, so they're now all good. Um, quite a wide and very flat neck on it um kind of not actually unlike a gibson sg perhaps doesn't feel like a gibson sg but the neck kind of is is that because mine's red and i'm used to is it red with a dark maybe um yep uh, so i think uh, again a little bit like some of the other reissue guitars this chap has at those two boxes i did a video for yesterday even though this is saturday night you know Oh, pure rock and metal, that, and it, you know, it's like 9 o'clock on a Saturday night and I'm wiring guitars, like, yay! <laughs> Not complaining, I, my backlog is going down, I'm now down to... two... three... four... five... in the queue before I can do any more, before I can do any of mine. When anyone's, I've not been able, I've got guitars that I want to fix up and sell, but I'm, do I do the, the paid work first? Um, I got a feeling I forgot about one as well, so busy, busy, busy. Um, but this one, I mean, I love the shape of it. It's awesome. Um, kind of tempted to draw around to it onto a bit of cardboard just in case I decide to try and make one myself. Um, maybe would I make it? Make it? Maybe I'll make it a little bit spikier. But uh, just a, a very bog standard hardtail bridge. Basically, it's the same hardtail bridge you get on um, those wee, you know, the wee. Uh, 
kids guitars you get with the speaker built in they're normally red i had a couple of them basically that's the bridge they put on it just it's just top loaded and be, it's also only got three neck bolts um Get rather a four, but I mean, it's, I, I did actually have to shim the neck to get the action down. Um, but it's now playing, now playing proper. But as I was saying, like the previous other guitars this guy's got, um, I think the original airlines are much more junky. This is much more just us. It's a little bit quirky, but it's not mental. You know, it, it's going to stay in tune, and it's not. You know, the frets aren't made of you know crazy metal that melts and all that stuff like the original things would be made of kind of like a Dan Electra idea so it's, it's very light I'd imagine it's probably basswood just because it's the best guitar wood um, as I said Gretsch mini humbuckers I've coloured in some of the chips with red pen so you can't see them and we go for not going to be on my board much longer it'll be gone by tomorrow night I think uh the Boss OD1, oh no, it's not an OD, it's an OS2, which is an OD1 and a DS1, but a knob to switch between them, but... It doesn't sound beefy to me. Less beefy. Back on. The neck's actually very like my SG. Going for the rusty fuzz, because I think this guitar wants fuzz. Take away the treble, the bass even. actually know any other White Stripe songs. Um, I'm sure there was one. I remember there was one where there was like, um, the drum kit was kind of, it was like, it was a good video. I did always like their sort of, um, the red, white and black. Uh, it's about Nazi or something. I think maybe not, they didn't like it that much. <laughs>
actually thinking about it. What other guitars have I got off this guy? Uh, no, the Jet King has got humbuckers in it. I'm just wondering if all the other guitars he's got has got single coils, therefore that's why he finds the mini humbuckers a bit beefy. Mind you, I don't know what kind of amp or what kind of pedals he's using. But it definitely gets thinner now. Again, this kind of fits into that. Like the same with the boxes and stuff and the Dan Electro. It's kind of got an acoustic voice to it. Like I said, it's got a strummability which you don't generally really get with like an SG or a Strat. You can't really strum them unless you're no Gallagher and an arsehole. And that's fuzz strumming. But it's still giving out some... It's amazing how just in the five minutes I've been playing it, uh, how it's suddenly starting to do things. Partly to do with the construction, partly to do with the pickups, and part probably partly to do with the look. It's given me a sort of sound of a little bit like the old the Sakai guitars I've had a few of, you know, the sort of Tesco top 20 type Japanese guitars, although I think the Tesco ones are actually well built, the Sakai ones are kind of not, they're kind of like a sort, almost a toy, but they've kind of got this sound, whereas this kind of looks a bit like a toy, but it's properly built. I don't like the bridge, I would rather have a nice, I'd have a more, a more 60s looking bridge rather than just, how cheap can we get a hardtail bridge, just use that one, I just feel it should be plastic or have a big bit that attaches on here or something. It's pretty easy to swap it over. Um. But I'm, I'm now feeling that it's kind of doing things. And memory toy. Sounds like I'm playing outside. Again, I like my guitar sound like I like my roasted peanuts. Dry. quite fancy one of these I think I might make one um I've got I found blocks of wood in the garage earlier on just pine I've got a few necks kicking about I think I might draw around this and make maybe a slightly a slightly pointier one um than this I'm just basically going to make my shocking bird again I'll put stupid pickups in it though what, what just one pickup in the neck maybe this time or do I have anything like this it'd be quite nice to have I think I used up the I think I pissed up the Gretchy pickups in a guitar I gave to, um, or I did up for Foxy's guitar channel, I think I might still have the other one, it's sort of steeply low output, but kind of when you're using the fuzz pedal stuff, it kind of really works really well, like it doesn't really sound, it's more fuzz, it doesn't sound as, like, none of the guitars you see in the wall, they're all kind of pro level <laughs> guitars, if you know what I mean, like kind of, they're designed to produce a certain sound, and it's like, this one, yeah, it doesn't do that. It's like, nah, we'll just do what we're going to do. Gretchiness. I wonder who makes them. I mean, I'd, I'd imagine they're probably owned by... They might even be owned by Gretsch, or Gretsch not offended, actually. Even the the, the the logo on the headstock is... um, It's like a bent piece of metal coated in plastic. It's like pure Super 3D. Uh, I took it out to clean it. And it's just held in with three nails. <laughs> it's like... Very old school, probably the most original feature on this. Um, I think the original ones are the one Jack White not have, like, fiberglass and stuff like that. Oh, I'm looking drunk. Why? Well, focus in on me. Focus on that and then come closer. There we go. Yeah.
know that's that's what riff this guitar made me play, which I've never played before, and it kind of just there's, there's something yeah. about it making me play slightly different ways. So for these reasons, I mean, I, I do get it. It's like sometimes just having something that's a bit bizarre might be that sound. Maybe not even necessarily the sound. It might just make you play slightly differently. Therefore, worth it. Isn't it? <laughs> Playing with the, the checking, make sure it works. Definitely, checking not does make a difference. Also. So, I mean, it's, it's got that sort of acousticiness to it somewhere. Well, that's quite beefy. Not. Then again, if I made one myself, it would probably it would just end up being the shocking bird, but a different shape. I think the lightness, whatever it's made of, the construction, the three bolts in the neck, these things all make a slight difference, I think. Um, it's, just, it's, a, it's a surprisingly comfy shape, which, to be, it doesn't really look like anything else. I can't think of, it's maybe a little bit, it's a little bit off-centre. Does it make me feel that I kind of want this bit to be slightly shorter in the way? It's a bit fat on this side and thin on this side, perhaps. It's very square. I don't know. It's definitely got a... Not a particular Dan Electro look, but a Dan electro type vibe going on somewhere. Actually, I really like that Dan Electro as well. and That's going to be dangerous when I'm trying to sell guitars. It's like someone offers me like a Dan Electro or something like this. And Although, to be fair, I did see one of these. on The one I saw was in eBay America and it was five hundred pounds. Maybe because it was like you know, it's maybe ten years old and in brand new stock and it was maybe one that, but it's just like mm, I don't. Well, maybe it is a five hundred pound guitar. I feel that way about Gretsch as well. I don't really. They've got a different sound. They they, they kind of sound like this. It's a these pickups are Gretsch pickups, pretty much. But not actually Gretsch pickups, but the same similar sort of thing. I'm not actually struggling that much with the 11s either. I thought, 11s are gone. I've, I've moved to 9s and it's like... Do you know... Not that bad. I, said, kind of, I can live with 11s. <laughs> yeah, so... Gretsch... Uh, airline... Model number in the description, because I'll look it up by the time I put this video up. I'm just uh, doing this so I can phone the guy and get rid of some of these guitars. Oh, God, I've still got, a, I've still got the Soviet one to do as well. I'm not going to do that until I've completely cleared my books. I've even got more booked in for next week as well. Um, my pal's been asking me to do it. It's like, yeah, can you come over? And it's like, yeah, totally, I will. And it's like, just I'm a bit busy just now. And then the following week, my car was out. And then... Last week, that something else happened to the car. One of the shock absorbers is gone. I got it checked today, though, and it's nothing dramatic or expensive. It's just um, I, I'm, I'm, the way he was saying, oh, there's something you can do with the bushes, and it's like I'm now going, well, how did I manage to do it? It was fine, right? I drove it from the garage to the MOT place, got it MOT, drove it back. Following night, I wondered if something's maybe not been tightened up, right? Or something's given way because it's been off. Um, so I've got a nine o'clock on Monday walk to do so if I don't know this will probably this might be Monday's video in fact this is probably going to be Monday's video I'm looking for I'm doing a video I'm, I'm not, not not done yet but I'm quite looking forward to doing like a why, why I why I like guitars video or why I like Japanese guitars but basically just why I like guitars and I love the way that everyone's into different things it's like the guy who's got these he doesn't have any normal looking guitars even that um the Ibanez Jet King's the only normal looking guitar he's got and it's like it's not normal looking at all all the rest are crazy ones like this which is a thing not necessarily what I would normally go for but I love 
I love the fact that I get to play with these things. You know, when people come and get them set up, I get to play them in, in the wild. You know, it's not like going into a shop and trying it for 10 minutes. I can play this all day if I want. Um, and then kind of learn a little bit more about it, which, to be honest, I'm not sure you would really get. Even playing it in the shop, I suppose if you really, really like the look of it, you might go for it anyway. But, I mean, even then, the first 10 minutes of this video, when I started playing it, it was like, and then after sort of 10 minutes, you start going, oh, hold on. But that's kind of like being relaxed and chatting and, you know, playing through my own amp and all that. In a shop, you don't really get to sit and relax. You're just sitting there going, right, I'm here just now, right? Oh, do, 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 and you're trying to find flaws and stuff like that. Um, whereas, you know, I get, I get to... I, 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 love, I love doing all these guitars. So, airline, overpriced. If it's 500 quid, it's overpriced, probably. But then again, I get those getting 180, 200 quid for those wee uh, the Sakai guitars like from the the seventies, and uh, this is a much, this is built like a proper guitar. It's not like a toy, you know. It's like it's got an intonable bridge, even though it's not the bridge I would choose. It's intonable, whereas the Sakai ones is just a bar, you know. What I mean, and it's got like tuners that work and stuff like that, and the scale lengths correct, and it's, you know, it's, the frets are made of fret metal, not brass that you can dent and all all these things it's decent springs string spacing it's a nice it's basically it's a basically it's a Gibson SG neck it also doesn't have any fret markings it's like you're not meant to play up here but no it's just, I think to be honest maybe the original one you probably couldn't you know it's like I think maybe are they not like fiberglass necks and maybe didn't have truss rods and all these things and you know tuners that aren't actually guitar tuners are actually part of a washing machine that's been used kind of get that sort of vibe um, about what the original ones look like. Anyhow, I did manage to make that 23 minutes long. Rock on, catch you later, like and subscribe, which I'm going to now start saying in every video, I'm going to start saying at the start, not the end.